me as a person the whole tiktok and reels thing is awkward for me because i'm naturally like what the fuck in person so when i have to do it on a camera that's looking at me and i'm looking at it and it's looking at me and i'm looking at it and then i realize my boob popped out i'm like well fuck um <laughs> What's up? My name is Panama Jane. I am a female rapper based out of Atlanta. You can find me on Instagram at the real Panama Jane, Apple Music, Panama Jane, Spotify, Panama Jane, uh, goddamn, all that shit. Panama Jane. You can follow me on Twitter because Panama Jane. Um, but yeah, so I'm a female rapper. I'm originally from Panama, Panama. I grew up in Georgia and Texas. So, you know, I like to call myself a chopped and screw peach or whatever. Um, I have nine personalities. I don't know what's behind door number one. So, yeah. I don't. <laughs> Yo, I really don't. Um, I fit in because I have boobs and a vagina like the rest of us. Um, but when it comes to aesthetic and my creativity and my content, I don't think that I fit in, at least not to where everybody else is woke yet, so, yeah. Okay, great, love this question. So, I love anime, absolutely love anime, like, we can talk anime. My first anime that I watched was Sailor Moon, after that it was Inuyasha. Um, Dragon Ball Z, of course, but them niggas was fighting for so fucking long, I haven't been able to get in the super because I'm too, my attention span, it's not gonna work. Um, ooh, ooh, I just recently finished Hunter Hunter. I'm trying to finish up on Seven Deadly Sins. I love Gone, but I also love Bleach, and Ichigo is that nigga. Pretty much any nigga that's a little evil, but fine, but like a little scared of the pussy, yeah, them, that nigga, love it. But back to Hunter Hunter, I love Gone and Kilua. Kilua, the way he can manipulate his hands to be nails and just be cutting niggas, and then he do the slow little serial killer walk, like my nigga, like, I know they have season five and six out already, but I am too lazy to go through anime tube and look it up. But yeah, love anime. Hey, we're on the topic of anime. Okay, great. So I released a song called Wicked City, and Wicked City is a song pretty much the hook goes over all of my favorite animes and if you're curious curious to know what wicked city sounds like or what the fuck i'm talking about get your ass on your phone or your laptop or whatever the fuck you use and google wicked city by panama jane and you'll find all the answers there wicked okay wicked city is based off a i want to say it came out in the 90s and it's a movie so it's back then around the times where animes it can be gruesome it can be as bloody it can be as provocative it can be sexual like they got this spider leg lady whose vagina has like teeth and she conching on niggas but she's actually a succubus now that i think about it but wicked city is a fire ass anime so that's how i came up with the name for the song wicked city crystal <laughs> fucking okay um, I met Crystal Poppin at A3C, I want to say last year. Damn, I don't know. We've been in the house so long. Either last year or the year before. And instantly when we hugged, we like switched social media information. We kept in contact because she's in Texas. Um, if you don't know who Crystal Poppin is, look her up because Latina to Latina, that bitch fire. But um, I had this beat. I was in the studio and at a point in time before quarantine and COVID, I wanted to do an album with collaborations of all females because I don't really do collabs like that. I be going through anxiety within my own shit. But this beat came by, I had the hook, and I'm like, Crystal, let's do it. She was like, yo, send it over. I sent it, the bitch came back with the goddamn choppers and big timers. Like, yeah, I like Crystal. I love that record. I don't know <laughs> gotta keep watching um like i said previously i wanted to release an album with features my direction has changed on that note yes i do have a album coming out when i don't have time for y'all i don't know like i don't i yeah i um <laughs> but i do have a single coming out on the 28th of 
this month, September. Um, I wouldn't mind leaking it to you if you wanted to hear it while we're here. Yes. Um, <laughs> the record's called Need Me. I'm coming up with all the visuals and everything for it. It's, a, it's actually my fastest tempo record that I've ever done. So, yeah, that's what I have coming up. And with visuals, I'm trying to put out music with more visuals because my content, my small little content that I put on Instagram is good. So I just like to take more time to sit down and actually plan a full fucking video. Uh, hmm. Um, well, dropping content continuously. Um, lately I've been hooked on to reels. So I've been doing reels. Me as a person, the whole TikTok and reels thing is awkward for me because I'm naturally like, what the fuck in person. So when I have to do it on a camera that's looking at me and I'm looking at it and it's looking at me and I'm looking at it and then I realize my boob popped out, I'm like, well, fuck. Um, <laughs> I have to redo this but lately i've been doing reels and just showing like my personal my personality side my all my personalities in the videos because i'm always just doing music and content and then sometimes i give y'all how you said a sneak peek of the song and i won't drop it my bad i'm trying <laughs> And I don't mean that in a, on a, I'm not even saying that from like an artist level. Um, because I've known a lot of the curators, the people that own like the bars and that run the, the industry performance shows, I've known them for years before I started rapping. So we have like a long history of just being college kids, doing dumb shit, and everybody just kind of got their shit together and have events so I'm able to go. And then aside from there, I just, you know trapper friends just because i have friends in different just all different social settings like i have friends in all different social settings so i haven't i don't use my rapper face card at all like when our bar opened up and i they was like you have to wait outside until people come out i i didn't have like a fit about it i was like i understand we can't have that many niggas in here like i ain't even mad like it was raining i'm just out there like like I don't I'm super respectful because it's not worth it it's a waste of energy and you know it's okay to wait <laughs> I feel like I'm still a little broke <laughs> like but I do appreciate the people that are starting to catch on, even if it's like on my older albums. They're like, I was asleep, somebody put me on. I'm like, hey, it's never too late. Uh, but everybody has their process and time. Like sometimes artists or anybody is do are doing things before their time. So unless you're just out there throwing it in your face, like just, you just sometimes gotta take like things with patience. Cause that's the way, that's the way you're able to create better content and then you're able to appreciate it because you're going through like a slower race. Hey y'all, my name is Panama Jane. Again, you have been tuning in with Broke to Dope. You can find me at The Real Panama Jane on IG, Panama Jane on Twitter, all fucking music platforms at Panama Jane. You can also call me Spice Girl Jane if that's what you into, but that's another conversation. Also, I'm giving you guys a sneak peek of my single that will be dropping at the end of this month called Need Me, so be on the lookout for that.